The DRDO has conducted a successful test of indigenous technology cruise missile powered by an indigenous manic engine for a range of 980 kilometers. A 17-member Iranian delegation visited a Russian facility that is renowned for manufacturing key components for S-400 system. ISRO has developed a new carbon-carbon composite nozzle for rocket engines, which is over 65% lighter than the current nozzles, thus enhancing payload capacity. The Ministry of Defense has issued a challenge to Indian private sector companies under the IDEX initiative, to develop a groundbreaking software module for predictive maintenance of critical machinery aboard naval warships. The RDO chief has inaugurated a submersible platform for acoustic characterization and evaluation, which is a state-of-the-art testing and evaluation hub for sonar systems. After the recent successful completion of developmental trials, the man-portable anti-tank guided missile will now proceed to the final user evaluation stage by the Indian Army. Indian Army Chief inaugurated a high-tech IT laboratory at the Uzbekistan Academy of Armed Forces. Indian Air Force is eyeing to procure six mid-air refuelers under by global category, which means that the refuelers will be sourced from global suppliers. Russia appears to be making renewed efforts to woo India back into its fold regarding fifth-generation fighter jets, and this attempt comes after India recently greenlit its AMCA program, raising questions about Russia's motivations. Russia is eager to showcase its Su-57 fighter jet in India, and the purpose of this demonstration remains unclear, and it's uncertain whether this demonstration is at India's request, or is an unilateral attempt by Russia to revive a struggling program. India procured 36 Rafale fighter jets at a cost of $8.85 billion, and with upcoming 97 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets costing $7.8 billion, analysts have said that while both aircraft are of different class, but on looking purely at numbers, the Tejas Mark 1A emerges as the more economical option. Procuring 290 Tejas Mark 1A fighters would cost $22 billion which is significantly less than 114 Rafale jets costing $25 billion, and in a scenario of large-scale conflict, a sheer number of less sophisticated fighter jets could overwhelm enemy defenses through sheer weight of numbers. The DRDO is developing a new air-launched turbojet-powered loitering munition, that will start trials in 2025. It has a range of over 100 kilometers, and can engage both stationary and moving targets in all-weather day and night conditions. It features sophisticated two-way data link, that allows for real-time communication and target identification, while the integrated dual electro-optical infrared sensor provides superior situational awareness. Naval Group has offered its lithium-ion battery technology for the upcoming three more advanced Super Calvary class submarines, that offers increased efficiency, reduced snorkeling, and faster charging. Mazagin Dock Limited will serve as the local partner for building the three new submarines, that will also have a higher percentage of indigenously sourced components, including the DRDO-developed fuel cell-based air independent propulsion system. The Ministry of Defense is planned to develop a high-altitude long-endurance UAV program through the Special Purpose Vehicle model has hit a roadblock, as the program has failed to garner interest from Indian private companies, and some companies appear to be prioritizing partnerships with foreign manufacturers, that could provide them with essential expertise. Today's Top 3 Comments